Racers move into the evening and make the final climb to cross the finish line in that 2015 Badwater Salton Sea. It's golden hour as the 2015 Badwater Salton Sea continues. The two-person mixed team, Vitargo Trail Freaks, were staying strong as they were approaching Link Henshaw. They took a moment outside a cow pasture to meet their crew. They discussed strategy as they entered the evening. A bit further up the road, the 100 Mile Club two-person mail team was running into the sunset and they made their turn onto State Route 79 at the 60 mile mark. They continued their pursuit of first place, which was currently being held by Team Disney McFarland USA. The runners from McFarland continued to be in good spirits and maintained their momentum as they passed Lake Henshaw. When they arrived at the time station, it was clear team leader Diego Diaz had a large ice pack on his leg. Although they didn't address it at the time, it was apparent the miles were adding up for this team as they took in some calories and prepared for the final climb. And with a determined spirit, they were off. Nighttime came and the 100 Mile Club continued their chase. Not far behind were the Vitargo Trail Freaks who had passed Lake Henshaw and were changed into their evening gear. Team Single Track Running continued to trek through the evening. And with a full moon out, several other teams, like the Dharma Bums, were making their way in the night. The last 10 miles of the race consist of a 2,500 foot gain up Palomar Mountain. And the Vitargo Trail Freaks were just starting their climb. As Disney McFarland USA were completing their final miles, their pace definitely slowed as they worked their way up the mountain. Not far behind, the 100 Mile Club continued their pursuit as they were closing in on the lead. Sure, if you have it. If not, it's okay next time. Okay. The finish line sits at the 81 mile mark and Team Disney McFarland USA were the first to cross with a time of 15 hours, 9 minutes and 42 seconds. They had a victorious cheer, took a moment to catch their breath, and then received their finisher's belt buckles from race director Chris Kosman. Diego Diaz, along with team members Carlos Cabanillas and Jose Velasquez, took an opportunity to say hi to the fans on the interweb and enjoy their well-deserved victory. The 100 Mile Club two-person team came over the line arm in arm with their crew they were the first two-person male team finishing with a time of 16 hours, 8 minutes, and 3 seconds. The Vitargo Trail Freaks also crossed the line hand-in-hand. Hand. Michelle and Mario came in as the first two-person mixed team with a time of 17 hours, 2 minutes, and 16 seconds. Another team of note was the first three-person female team, the Dharma Bums, who came in with a time of 22 hours, 37 minutes, and 40 seconds. Where did you guys do your hill As daylight broke, teams continued to cross the line and complete their 81-mile challenge known as the Badwater Salton Sea.